Hello everyone, welcome back to Oneg Shabbat. This Shabbat we'll be discussing Parashat Kitisa, specifically we'll be discussing Chet Ha'egel, the sin of Am Yisrael building a calf. So it's a very painful parasha. We've seen Am Yisrael have some problematic things, do some problematic things, the Dena Parashat Besharach, but here in Parashat Kitisa, we see the biggest sin, Am Yisrael is in Mamash danger until Moshe saves them. The question I want to deal with is, why Davka a calf? Meaning, out of all the animals that Am Yisrael could build, why do we see that Haron builds Am Yisrael, Pasuk Perik, why Davka an egel out of all animals? Why Davka would you pick an egel? So obviously to answer that question, we have to ask ourselves what exactly was Chet HaEgel. Let's assume for a second Chet HaEgel was Avodah Zarah, Kacha Be'emet Masbi Rashi. So Chet HaEgel, if it's Chet HaEgel is Avodah Zarah, why they choose Davka an egel out of all things? So um, in Mizmor Te'ilim, in Mizmor Te'ilim Kufvav, Mizmor we mentioned in the past, we see also the idea that it's Avodah Zarah. We see here... In the Mizmor Kuvah, Pasuk Kaf, Yutet Sari, Yasu Egel Bechore, Vishachavu Masicha, Bemerut Kvodam Betavnit, Shorochel Esev, Shachahu Ol Mishiam El Moshia, Moseg de Lodem Mitzrayim. But still, you see it's Avodah Zara, but why Davka and Egel? In order to answer that, the interesting idea is out through Rab Gorin's book about Parashat Shavua, Torah Tamikra. Rab Gorin explains that the Pasuk in Yirmiya, it says, Eglaye Feifia Mitzrayim. In Egyptian mythology, we know that calves do have um, some role. So Bemet, the reason that Am Yisrael chose Davka and Egel, Davka and Shor, was because of Mitzrayim. When they say, the Ele Elohecha Yisrael, they are saying, we don't want a new God. We don't want to accept the Tiat Mitzrayim, to accept the theological basis of the Tiat Mitzrayim, of there being Hashem, of there being Anuchi Hashem Elokecha. We don't want that. We want to go back to Mitzrayim. In Chetam Ereglim, Am Yisrael say that we want to leave geographically. We don't want to be here. We want to go back to Mitzrayim. We want to become Avadim. Here they're saying on a theological level as well, they often that we can see it even, they say it even louder, that they don't want to take part of Hashem, they want to be part instead of that, of the gods of Mitzrayim. That's one interesting direction that we can look at. The Ramban offers a different idea, and the Ramban says that if you notice, they're not looking for someone instead of Hashem. What actually they're looking for is looking for someone instead of Moshe. That's what they say in Pasuk Lemperik Lamebet Pasuk Alef. They say, Aharon, Kum Aselanu Eloheim Asher Yechul Lefanenu, Ki Zeh Moshe Ha'ish, Asher Heilanu, Merat Mitzrayim, Leodanu, Mehayalo. Meaning, Moshe Rabbeinu is gone, we need someone instead of Moshe Rabbeinu. That leads to the question, if we're looking for someone instead of Moshe Rabbeinu, why are we using an egel? Wouldn't we expect a human? maybe, why Davka an Egel? Maybe it shows of a misunderstanding of Moshe Rabbeinu, that Moshe Rabbeinu isn't just a regular human being, but Moshe Rabbeinu is something divine, and therefore they try to use some sort of divine creature. But still, we have to explain, why Davka an Egel? Why not an animal, if we're replacing Moshe, let's replace him with the king of animals, let's replace him with a lion, a fierce lion seems to be much better than a calf. So why Davka a calf? In order to explain that, Let's go and speak a little bit about what exactly an Egil is in Tanakh. So through Yechizkel Perik Aleph in uh, Maaseh Merkava, we see that in Maaseh Merkava, uh, Perik Aleph Pasuk Yud, Yechizkel describes the panim of what's on the Kisei. He says, Udmut Pneihem, Pnei Adam, Pnei Ariel Hayemin Le'arbaatam, Pnei Shor Me'asmol, Ufnei Nesher Le'arbaatam. Meaning there's four kinds of faces, Pnei Adam, Pnei Arye, Pnei Nesher, and Pnei Shor. Those are the four kinds of faces that are on the Merkava. Now, if we look at Perek Yud, in Perek Yud in Yechizkel, we see another half of Maaseh Merkava. In Perek Yud, Pasuk Yud Aled, we see the same description. Ve'arbaa panim la'echad, Pnei Echad, Pnei Akub, Pnei Ashani, Pnei Adam, Ve'ashelishi, Pnei Arye, Ve'arabii, Pnei Nesher. So notice, we have Arye, Nesher, and Adam, which is exactly what we saw in Perek Alef. But here we see Kruv instead of Shor. In Perek Alef, we saw that one of the faces was Pnei Shor, and the other one here in Perek Yud, we see that it's a kuv. Heveomer, that an egel could be explained as a kuv. An egel is equivalent to a kuv. Which means that an egel seems to have some sort of meaning in Jewish thought, as we see right here in Maaseh Kavaz. It's an interesting idea heard through Rav Samet. And by we see that the agalim are the kuvim. So... באמת חז"ל גיבה דפן פירוש להלכה, that the קרובים were faces of תינוקות, but here we see פשוטו של מקרא, seems to be the קרובים seem to be עגלים. So then, we need to ask a question. If a kuv, if an egel is a kuv, it means all they did was they did exactly what they were told in Parashat Truma. Parashat Truma, they told to build a kaporet. On the kaporet, we have kuvim. So that's exactly what they did. What is Chet HaEgel then? If Chet HaEgel is not Avodah Zara, if Chet HaEgel is just building a kuv to replace Moshe, maybe it's a misconception of Moshe, as we mentioned before, but why is it so chamu? Why is it so problematic to build something that they were allowed to build in Parashat Truma? What is such a big problem?
The answer is that when we deal with Bet HaMikdash, Dafka, when we deal with Bet HaMikdash, er, Mishkan, for instance, there is the biggest Sakana for Avodah Zara. Dafka, when we deal with a physical place that represents the house of Hashem, there is the biggest danger of Avodah Zara. And Bemet, unfortunately, over the years of Bayit Rishon, that's Bemet what happened. We see that... Um, during the days of the kings, then the Bet Midash turned into be a house of Avodah Zarah. We see Menashe Mid Pesel Ba'echal, and we see Achaz bringing the Matkonet of the of the Mizbeach in Ashur. It turns into a house of Avodah Zarah because Davka there, where you work Hashem Begashmiut, there could be room for mistake. How do we get around that? We get around that by doing exactly what Hashem says. Every time we deal with the Mishkan, every time we deal with Mikdash, we need to be precise. We need to be exact because of the room for the mistake. Because we're dealing with Avodah Hashem Begashmiut which could lead to big mistakes of Avodah Zarah, that's why we need to be precise. Therefore, the Egel is not allowed. It's allowed when Hashem says to build the Kuvim on the Kaporet. That is when it's allowed. But you're not allowed to build an Egel without Hashem telling you. That is the thin line between Avodah Hashem, Lechavod Ul Tifaret, and between Avodah Zarah, where we get to in Chet HaEgel. An interesting, uh, another interesting example of that would be Nadav Aviyu. Nadav Aviyu take an Esh Zarah, and Hashem, then they're killed. Why are they killed? The Torah says, Asher Lo Tzivah Notice, it doesn't say that they were told not to do it. It says, They brought something that we're not mitzvet to do. And when we deal with the Kodesh, when we deal with Bet HaMikdash, Bet HaMishkan, we need to be precise, extremely precise. Because anytime you do something that comes from your own without Hashem telling you what to do, you're in danger of turning the Makom of Kedusha, the Bait Asher Shlomo, Banal Hashem, to turn it into a house of Avodah Zarah. Davka, because it's a house of Hashem, Davka, because of Avodah Hashem, Megashmiut, Davka there is the biggest danger for Avodah Zarah. And the way to get around that is to be precise and to listen exactly. So Ab Yisrael, while building a Kuvim, will seem to be something that, 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 that has something that has Kedusha, something that's part of the Maasem al Kavah, as we see. The fact that they do it on their own puts them very, very close to Avodah Zarah. And that is maybe an explanation to why Ab Yisrael built Davka, the Egel, out of all animals. Shabbat Shalom.